Yeah, the, the the process been going. It's going good. So so that's I'm I'm uh, I apply for a state job. It's uh family services, and the last time I applied for one was a uh, detention center for for youth. And that was last year. Last year they had me go through a strenuous process. So what that looked like was when I put the application in, I, you know, I um I got the interview. I aced the interview. Um, and and I say that you know with all humility, not just bragging, but every every interview I go to, I think I ace it because I find that the supervisors they definitely um give me that feel and and uh as if they you know they want me on that team on their team so so you know I aced that I aced that interview last year with the detention center I went through the background check that's where the problem came in soon as you know the background check came in because they check they check they do a strenuous check for to make sure you don't have no abuse on children with any type of children cases or anything. So in the process of doing that, you know, they're going to run into my last conviction, which was in 1990, 1994, my last felony, 1993. Uh, uh, and running into that, you know, you can't see anything else but murder in the second degree and possession of a weapon in the second degree and in uh 25 years to life you know uh which was my sentence so now once a person see that i can almost imagine like their minds especially in corporate america you know <laughs> and and then um applying for a job that's like this. So, you know, I know that my qualifications was all good because they informed me that we think you you well qualified for this and and they take me and send me through the next level. So, you know, I I went through the whole process last year with the with the detention center with going to do my my fingerprints. Um I didn't get to do the, the physical but well, they had me, um, what was it? It was something else they had me do to 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 suggest that I had the I had the job. You know, um it was a lot of it was a lot of pro a big process. But then they had me, once they seen that my case from thirty years ago, then they um that being my last felony thirty years ago, then they uh they asked for me to to send them more information on my rehabilitation. So so I, I wrote them, you know, I wrote them, I summed them 30 years in uh in this um I don't I I would say it might have been about a three three page. You know, I did it on the computer, but it might have been about three pages. Because I went through the process of um of uh just explaining to them what I've been doing the past thirty years, and you know showing them my growth and development with my rehabilitation since my last felony over thirty years ago, so they they um I submitted it. They, you know, received it and then came back again, like, you know, well, can you tell us a little bit more? I'm like, huh? <laughs> a little bit more, you know? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, you know, come on. I just explained to them. But however, you know, I rode with the process because it is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah, the process frustrates me. They took five months. You know, to make that to make that long story, long process short, they took five months just to tell me that they decided to move on with somebody else, you know, and hope that 
I, I uh, continue to, you know, try to get into the services, the youth detention in the future. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. And uh, I came across now, so let's let's say I still was working at Exodus and at the time that this occurred because my whole my whole process was trying to get closer to home, work, working closer to home because it it wasn't you know it wasn't making sense with me <laughs> traveling an hour and a half to work an hour and a half from work every day. You know, um, so I went through that process of just transitioning. I landed the job for UPS, uh, delivery driver. And so I did that for about three months. Three months I did that. You know, it was the seasonal, it was a seasonal job. However, you know, they usually let you roll, they usually let those individuals come on board um, after the season, those that stay consistent with what they do. So, you know, they usually, yeah, so so they usually let them stay on board. So what happened is, is um, they, they decided to, let go 20,000 workers at UPS. Um, you know, if you leave it up to me, I think it might have been because they they uh they had a strike last year or the year before last and and within that strike they had to pay the drivers a lot more than what they were paying them. So as a result, now they they cut twenty thousand workers, and I was at the bottom of the tolling pole. So I was one of those that got cut. So in the process of that, I I had put an application in for another family service job, working with uh with youth that you know trying to get them placed, doing case management, and attempting to get them placed into the foster care system or or adoption. So that process is where I'm at now, you know, and that was just last month. I was just last month, like the end of the month, I would say, where I started the process. And, um, you know, since that, since then, they, they had me, they had me uh, take a, take my fingerprints, do the background check that still came back and they still, you know, they accepted, they, you know, they, they sent me a hiring letter. Put your, put your phone on mute. Yeah. Mute that fool. <laughs> yeah. So, so in the process though, you know, um, they sent me a letter and offered, offered me employment with them. Um, so they offered me to be a part of the team. They 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 had me going through the process. I just did my fingerprints. Now I'm uh now I'm doing my physical today. So so all is well thus far. You know, um I still got like seven applications in though <laughs> for for other jobs right now <laughs> that I'm waiting for, like to hear from, you know. Um Oh, this all good. Yeah, never stops. You know, I already know something gonna land. <laughs> you know, sooner than later, because that's just my drive. You know, but um, but this time has allowed me to to you know get a lot done, a lot of research done that I that I've been looking to do for for what we do here at Success After Lockdown.